Good evening all. Car Music Rhythm Lamp. Let's unbox it, take a look at it, see what it does. It's uh, an energy saving design, by all accounts, 85%. <laughs> what on earth does that mean? And it's HD. No idea, not a clue. And you can't fail to have noticed that today's experimental desktop pattern is lurid pink leather so let's do the unboxing nice that's interesting that must be leds i'm guessing sort of bonded onto this transparent plastic substrate uh, we've got self-adhesive tape round it and that's because it would appear that you're meant to stick this on the rear windscreen of your car which I expect is completely illegal plug that into the uh, accessory socket and here we've got uh, a little 12 volt oh that unplugs does it yeah a 12 volt driven unit with what looks like a hole for a microphone and a ribbon cable and that plug must plug into that socket uh, which we round. Now there are no instructions and there's not really any indication of which way round this connector goes so if I get it the wrong way round does it blow up or wouldn't it matter too much? So a couple of clues, uh, we've got some markings on the edge of the heat shrink, could that be the pin one indications? There are no similar markings on the other side. This has the uh, red wire, so that is generally pin one, and this end track runs down to this uh, track which runs all around the outside. So I'm guessing, or I'm hoping, that it's a fairly safe bet that it goes that way around. Now, looking at these things, I'm not so sure whether these are LEDs. I'm just wondering whether these are electroluminescent or something like that. Let's get in a bit closer on these tracks on the back. Yeah, I can't really make this out. I mean, it doesn't look like LEDs. And if it is LEDs, then they're not going to have very even illumination. I think these probably are electroluminescent panels of some sort. Interesting. Right, I have a spare socket on my four-way distribution from my uh, 12 volt batteries outside, so I'm going to just take this thing off and plug it in here, wait for the bang. That went off. Oh! Something's happening. Well, this is very interesting. These things are responding to sound. <laughs> That's fairly obvious. But they're also making a sound. It's really strange. This is behaving like some sort of speaker. I'm going to put part of it. Let me just listen. Hello, hello. Yeah, so it seems to be making sound across the whole thing. I'll just put part of it up near the microphone of the camera. See if you can hear that. Tap, tap. Actually, it'd be more sense to tap this, wouldn't it? So there's some sort of uh, oscillator driving these things. So yes, I'm pretty certain they are electroluminescent now. Now there's an on-off switch here which switches it off, that's good. There's also a sensitivity control, so I'll turn that down and now I have... Oh. That's not... Oh yes, if I whack it really hard that works. Let's turn that up to maximum sensitivity so I can actually whisper. No, I can't quite whisper, but yes, that's with the sensitivity on maximum. It's a shame it's not any sort of... Um, graphic equalizer pattern. It seems that all the columns are just responding in the same way. But if I talk quietly, 
quietly. <laughs> well, it's very difficult to get just the bottom row on. Also, these red ones are very dim. A bit strange. They're, well, they're not dim. They're dim when all the others are on. They go a bit brighter when only they are on. Dark red, that's a lighter red. Actually, that's more like pink. Green, blue, yellow, dark red. Yeah, I'm not very impressed with the dark red. But the other colours are fine. Lovely thing. Right, I've closed the blinds. That sounds really weird. Why is it making that noise? I think we're going to have to have a look inside this box. Now I'm assuming for electroluminescence there's going to have to be some sort of high voltage involved. Well higher than 12 volts certainly. So is there going to be a step up regulator in here or some sort of, well at the very least an inductor of some sort which might hint at stepping the voltage up to uh, provide power for what are effectively if these are electroluminescent panels these are actually light emitting capacitors I know it sounds a bit strange but they're capacitors that emit light yeah light emitting capacitors oh it's not beautiful interesting so what have we got in here well there's a microphone there there are four transistors all called a92 except that they're not they're actually bf331s which sound familiar from the old days the transistor there is a tip if i can get in a tip 42c another quite old school component now I'm just wondering, I'm not absolutely certain about this, but whether this power transistor is part of an oscillator which is just generating the high voltage necessary for these EL uh, panels. There's an interesting chip here. It's a single in line chip. I'll try and get the number in a moment. Uh, next to these four transistors. I'm not sure why there are four. And why are there so many of these wires when this appears to be... Oh, of course, yes, it's this individual stepped segments isn't it so maybe this is some sort of vu meter chip yeah maybe it's a a volume level chip um which has been repurposed for driving these but how have they made it work with this high voltage circuitry i don't know so that chip looks like it's a ka2284 i'm just gonna look that up for a moment so yes, this is a KA2284, a 5-dot dual LED level meter driver. It doesn't appear to be operating in dual mode. That's a shame actually, it would have been quite nice if they'd had one side, then you'd have to have two microphones. Well anyway, um, so monolithic integrated circuit designed for 5-dot LED level meter drivers with a built-in rectifying amplifier. Uh, suitable for AC or DC level meters such as VU meters or signal meters. Uh, wide operating voltage up to 16 volts. Five comparators in there. There's the uh, amplifier, there's the input connection. So possibly the microphone is just attached directly to it. What then are these four transistors for, I wonder? So I've uh, closed the blinds and I think we should have some YouTube copyright free music. I must admit, I do get the impression that the the movement, the, the, the five segments, aren't particularly 
linear it seems that once it's triggered it shoots all the way up to the top and that might be something to do with once it starts drawing power it affects the way this chip works and it actually doesn't drive the individual segments particularly well so as soon as you trigger the first one it kind of leaps up and triggers them all really it's a bit rubbish so on eBay this is a car sticker music rhythm LED flash lamp light sound activated equalizer it's not an equalizer though is it uh, 45 by 11 centimeters $9.19 free shipping came from Secret Garden 2015 so I don't think I'll be putting this in the back window of my car because <laughs> Well, I'd look a bit of a prat, wouldn't I? So, but it is a bit uh, of, it's an interesting novelty. So, um, well, let's play out with a bit more music, shall we? Uh, this is Burner. Burner. 